Hi, my name is Tom Sokolowski. I'm a nutritional therapist and functional medicine practitioner at London Clinic of Nutrition. Today I want to talk to you about ways that you can support your immune function for in the long term using a process known as hormesis. Hormesis is when a small amount of toxin or a small stressor of another kind will actually boost your overall long-term resilience. And what happens, so for example, if you have phytochemicals, so polyphenols or glucosinolates, for example, from vegetables or plant foods, these actually are poisons and they create some oxidative, oxidative stress in your body. But your body has evolved over the eons to respond by producing more antioxidant, anti-inflammatory and detoxifying proteins. And this increases your resilience to future stressors, including infections. So the first example is exercise. And there's been a previous video giving you examples of some exercises you can do at home. Uh, but exercise, if you do the right amount of exercise, as well as having hormetic benefits, as I've just described, it will also help balance blood sugar, which is vital for immune function. So if you exercise um, in the right amount, you'll boost immune function. But if you do too much, you'll actually create more inflammation and weaken immune function. And this is an important aspect of hormesis, which is that the dose makes the poison. So there's a U-shaped curve in terms of your response to the hormetic stressor. So it's not that every toxin will benefit you, but toxins that we've evolved to deal with and stresses that we've evolved to deal with, one of which is exercise. The next one I want to talk about is time-restricted feeding. So it's really beneficial to fast overnight for 13 hours, but also then to move your dinner time earlier and earlier. So you're eating around about 6 p.m. This is great, not just because of the hormetic benefits of fasting overnight, but it also supports balanced blood sugar, which is also vital for immune function. Then what you can do is gradually move the dinner even earlier and only be eating two meals a day within a 12 hour window and then a 10 hour window and then an eight hour window. And for some people, even a six hour window. Now, if your hormones go funny, you lose periods or you get overly stressed or irritable or anxious or you lose sleep or your hair falls out then maybe you need to actually expand the window of time in which you're eating and maybe too much uh, time-restricted feeding might not benefit you right now. Uh, you may need to do work in other areas first of all. Uh, if however you do fine with this, you could once a week just have one meal a day and eventually have no meals a day on that one day a week. And then you're doing intermittent fasting uh, which again will help balance blood sugar and have hormetic benefits and thus support immune function. So two of the proteins that are made by your body when the hormesis happens are heat shock proteins and these benefit immune function directly and glutathione which also helps balanced immune function. So another thing you can do is expose yourself to hot and cold. So nowadays you can easily buy a far infrared sauna, a portable far infrared sauna that you can use in your bathroom at home. You just plug it into the mains. Afterwards, you want to make sure you have a shower to wash off any toxins and you want to have plenty of vegetables with some salt to replenish minerals loss in the sweat. Also, a great practice is to turn your shower from hot to cold for two minutes at the end of your daily shower. And this will provide more hormetic benefits and boost immune function. So with all of these, you don't want to overdo it. But one of the main areas that you really need to be careful, there are some contraindications for, is fasting, which is not to be done if you're already a very low body weight or if you're pregnant or wanting to conceive. Otherwise, these practice, practices are generally safe if you don't overdo them and will boost immune function and long-term health outcomes, including weight loss and many chronic diseases that we suffer from today. Thank you for listening. I hope you find this video helpful.